rotary switch, it's a 5-2 spring return, on off. This is a on off switch, switch one direction, stays on, switch the other way, comes off. It's available in green and red and black knobs. The valve can be panel mounted and doing this bezel, taking the washer, there's two rubber gaskets, one gasket between either side of the panel, putting that bezel back on again. can also be mounted through these two holes there or base mounted and the valve has the symbols showing on the side here, the legend to show you which way to pipe it up. It has five ports for controlling a double acting actuator. There's an inlet port, two exhaust ports, and on this side the two cylinder ports in and out, backwards and forwards for the two actuator ports. I'll demonstrate the operation of this valve. Put a fitting into the inlet supply port. And fittings into the two outlet ports. Air supply into the inlet port and the two outlet ports can be go to a double acting air ram we have here. This can be either a double acting air ram or a double acting pilot or a double acting pneumatic actuator. You can also control a spring return if necessary by putting clean air into the spring end as well. Turn on the air supply, turning the switch send the ram in and out. Advantage is that you can turn the switch and the valve will stay on until such time as you come back and turn it back like that. Two exhaust ports, we can fit them with silencers which screw into the port and reduce the noise down and stop dust getting in and dirt. We can also fit them with exhaust flow control regulators which do the same function of silencing and stopping the dirt but they can also control the speed of the actuator or the air ram. And the ram is now controlled by these units and you can change the speed of the ram in any direction through the two separate items.